we were uh, we are now able to expand our services both surgically and endovascularly to provide all kind of uh, procedures that uh, we can that can be offered anywhere else it is uh, uh, previously the uh, facilities like that were did not used to exist outside the main cities but uh, with the availability of uh, the technology and with the realization that the patient needs to be tra uh, treated sooner rather than later, uh, these facilities have now been becoming available in the communities. Uh, still, it is very uncommon for a community uh, like uh, St. Cloud size to have this kind of facility. It is uh, not common for that, but I think this, is a, this was a need because the St. Cloud is not only serving the St. Cloud, but it is also serving the whole of the central Minnesota. So by having this service available over here, we are at least saving an hour of time for the patient care who, is, uh, and who needs this procedure emergently. A patient who is having a stroke, uh, the most important thing is to open up the blood vessel that is causing the stroke. The sooner we open up the blood vessel, the more likely we are able to save the tissue or the brain. So if the procedure or if the opening of the blood vessel is delayed by some time, then uh, it may not be of any value opening up the blood vessel at all. The things that we, you, we realize that we can open it up by doing a clot busting medication, but that does not work all the time and it is not safe after a certain period of time. So by using uh, this machine, we can go in and uh, open up the blood vessel and by opening up the blood vessel, we are now saving the brain. We may still have some uh, stroke that may have already happened, but if you open it in time, we may be able to save a lot of brain in there which uh, which is the i mean we know that uh, the brain is time and the uh, brain cells are dying with every passing minute so the sooner we open it up the more brain cells we are able to save and the better the recovery of the patient would be